after the loss last night, step back kids, man, we got to get in the building and we got to talk about one of the step back leaders. You know, it's all about the step back and Dame Lillard, you know, he's one of the top 10 step back kids in the league, not maybe even top five. But when we get into actual basketball and winning, there's a problem with the Portland Trailblazers. We've been seeing these guys for years. Same type of offense. Dame up top. Uh, uh, Mr. Mr. What's his name? McCullum up top. Dribble, dribble. One man game. Try to score. We've been seeing this forever. Last night, the Utah Jazz gave him a lesson on team ball and what a beating it was from the Utah Jazz. A team that, quite frankly, if I was just to look at the names on the rosters between the two teams, you would think that Portland may have a slight edge. I got to say, Rudy Gobert is a game changer no matter what you tell me. But there is those little inputs that tell you with an Anthony, a Lillard, a McCullum, uh, and now they added Norm Powell. I didn't like that move. I ain't going to lie to you, man. I didn't like the Norm Powell move. I didn't see the benefit. I thought a Rodney Hood and a Gary Trent Jr. are better than a, a Norm Powell by himself. But whatever it is, whatever it is, they felt they needed to make a change, right? So, that said, Covington, you got a young bull and Simons. You got some leaping ability in two aspects. You got Nasir Little and Mr. Jones. They got two big defense, possibly defensive acres. You add on a Harry Giles that's not playing at all. I don't see why not. A potential half man, um, Nikolai Jokic and Joseph Nurkic. You have to ask yourself, is it truly the team or is it the coaching? Yeah, I had to go there, bros. I had to go there because Dame Lillard, despite the fact that's all he knows, is hitting step backs and game winners. It's up to the coaching to determine an offense that allows for the total team to be implemented. Let's go ahead and look at the darn roster and understand what we have from a depth perspective and some of the changes they may need, man. At the end of the day, they didn't make any any big trades except for Norm Powell, which I thought was a, like I said, not a good trade for me. I like the young talent better. And then we and then we have the issue with regards to Anthony Simons' play. I'm gonna go there. Anthony Simons to me is a special special talent. The young man. Has explosive power, can jump, can leap, can shoot. Um, just has everything to be one of the top six men in the league. I had him as a starter previously, but the league is getting so stacked with guards that now even the good the guards that have had potential to be great are going to have to be six men, and you can be great at it. You can be a Lou Williams. I mean, you can be a lot of different things off that bench and be special. Just because you're not starting doesn't mean you're not special to a team. Now, he's been kind of held back by the McCullum-Lillard duo. Hasn't been let free, but he's been kind of had a toolage under these guys. Then you bring in Norm Powell. And at the end of the day, with those four, we got four guards. We got four guards. You heard me? These aren't point guards. Don't get mad at me. It is what it is. None of these guys are facilitators. Do you see the issue now? I don't know what LRB could be. I don't know too much about Blevins. But I know that Lillard, McCullum, and Simons are not point guards. That's why it's one-on-one all day. You basically got three Don Mitchells on the team. All right? That's what you got. You got three Don Mitchells at your guard position. All right? I'm not saying leaping ability, all that stuff. I'm talking about just scores. And that's great to have. But you need the you need the Ricky Rubio type for the offensive scheming, setting up those type of offenses for the other players to get engaged. You need that. 
North Power comes into the small forward position. I hate that size move. They got Rob Covington. They got Little. They got Jones Jr. You know, and they got Anthony that can play a little bit. They just recently picked up Rondas Hollis Jefferson. I know why they did that. They said, man, we just lost some size. Yeah, you did. You gave up on a young talent and Gary Trent Jr. for a guy that's been in the league a little longer than, you know, with Toronto forever. He's a great player, but is he worth your young talent? In a hood who's just recovered from injury and a Gary Trent Jr. Unless those kids re- requested a trade due to minutes, because that, that happens too, right? That happens too. That said, with all aspects of this team and where they want to go, that those are some sweet spots I'm saying is question marks for me because of the moves they made. But I love Derrick Jones Jr. off the bench. Power forward, you got Rob Covington starting. I think it's a lack of size. I'd rather see a little there. I'd rather see a Giles or a Hollis Jefferson. I don't know if Rob Covington is still a starter in this league. I think he's too much too much hurt, to be honest with be honest with you. A little too slow, but has a great jump shot, can stretch the floor, still defense. Remember, he's 6'9". So coming out of Tennessee, he's still a 6'9 dude. So that's why they got him there. But I think he's better positioned off of the bench, all right? I think you start one of the true power fours like the old school days. Get Harry Giles in the mix, man. See what the hell he could bring to the table. It's a why not for me when you look at that aspect of their roster. Even a nice little. 6'9", 6'10", but he's long. He may be 6'8", 6'9", but he's really long. Get one of those guys in there. Get that a try from a defensive perspective because you got the scoring with, 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 with Lillard, McCullough, and Powell. Those are scores. Covington constructs the floor, but I think you need more defense. That's the issue here. Nurkic at the center position, you got to love that. Then you got Canner behind him. That's probably the, the position that I like the most. You got Zach Collins that hasn't returned yet. The team is kind of loaded in those positions. I would love to see more, more Giles, more Little at the power forward, even Zach Collins, even Zach Collins. Uh, I want to see Ryan Hello Jefferson make his move up the roster. I'm not sure how much he could help this team because of all the talent they have at the small forward position. But man, when you look at the guards, they're 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 depleted. I mean, I don't know what LRB could be. I don't know if he's a true point guard, but that's the risk factor for me and what I see there with the Blazers where they need help. They're the sixth team in the West. Do they have a shot at beating any of the top four teams? I'm going to say there's always a shooter's chance. If these guys start going off, you know, 30, 30, and 30, Mello, McCullum, Lillard, yes, I'm a Mello fan. 30, 30, 30, 90 points with those guys, that could happen. But why would you need that to happen? Get a point guard. Start to move the ball a little bit more. Lillard needs to come down on the point percentage. When I looked at how many points he averaged, let me go to the stats real quick, dogs. When I go to the stats real quick, big, big players, I'll tell you what, uh, 30 points a game, maybe he needs to score 25. McCullough maybe needs to be at a 20. They got Norm Powell. He's obviously executing. He's averaging 18, coming back. But, you know, I'm not going to go there. Trent Jr. gave you 15. I mean, these guys are retarded. Anyway, you got Anthony with 13.4. Can they get Simons to move up? Develop him better. He needs he needs a chance. Derrick Jones Jr. never been a scorer, but I like him. And then Harry Giles, right? Not playing him. Again, the front line is not the problem. I think the front line is good enough to compete. I'm not saying they're better than everybody, but they're good enough to compete. I love Nurkic. I love what he could possibly be from a talent perspective. I think Nurkic is going to, once he comes back fully healthy, he moves into that third scoring slot. Uh, and then you got Canner right off the bench. He's one of the top offensive rebounders in the league. So I do I do think that they're good there. But the guard position uh, is something they need to work on. And offensively, I think they need a point guard. I'm going to sign off here the Blazers the state of Portland they look like they're doing the same thing they always do hit the playoffs and then I'll see you later after the first round I'm out of here peace Mikey step back